what is the benefit of showcasing these characters in a six episode series versus a feature film? Um, well, you get more time with them. I mean, if you look at it, a, a six hour series is like three movies. So you get the opportunity to get to really know the characters, um, really get invested in the characters and really grow a relationship with the characters to carry forward. What is compelling about the relationship between Sam and Bucky uh, at this point after the movies that makes it worth exploring is that they are both sort of left with one another, um, essentially, uh, and in a world that um, post Steve, and they've got to figure out what they have in common and what's different between them. Sam's journey leading up to the series is him basically returning from the blip and coming home. The series picks up right when, right after the blip. So you find these characters trying to reacclimate themselves into culture, into society, into the world that they once knew five years ago. And emotionally, Sam is very split. I mean, when we last saw him, he was left with his best friend telling him that he was no longer going to be Captain America and that he needed to, you know, take on his moniker and move forward, which was the last thing Sam wanted. Um, and then the overall idea of now having to be friends with Bucky is the icing on the cake that literally leaves him emotionally spent because uh, uh, Sam and uh, Bucky's relationship kind of is tentpoled by Steve and both of their respect and admiration and love for him. So, you know, he's he's kind of uh, pulled in one direction and drawn another. He's, you know, a 50-50 split on where exactly he is as an individual post-blip as well as an Avenger. <clears throat> Bucky's journey so far uh, can be chronicled really well in the films <laughs> Winter Soldier and Civil War and the Avengers. Uh, Bucky has not been healed and he is trying his best to get uh, ahead of his demons and finally um, find his place on his own, you know, in this life. Well, um, as a black man in America, the idea of representing a country that has never stood for you, taken up for you, encouraged you, built you up, afforded you opportunity, or acknowledged what you've done since you've been here makes it very difficult to put those stars and stripes on your chest and say you're representing that country. So Sam is in a position where, you know, how does he live with the idea of what his parents, his grandparents, his great grandparents, his ancestors went through and that not be changed, acknowledged or in any way, shape or form, um, any uh, thought given by the country that he's supposed to protect and represent. Well, Bucky's efforts to make amends are important because it means that he has to confront his actions, his past himself uh, and that's the only way to move forward. And um, I think he's been, you know, conveniently dodging it a little bit because there's always been a war calling him or some other effort, you know, kind of taking him away from facing that. But now uh, he's really in cold water and he's got to, it, this, is, this is sort of the fork in the road for him, this show. Malcolm Spelling, the writer, brought to the series a depth of a, 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 a very uh, deep level of understanding of these characters. He um, put us in a position where he really curated the experience for the audience, which was great. You know, um, I think his life experiences, I think his background, I think his uh, ability with uh, exposition and not making it sound like we're telling you every beat what happens really put us in a position to do the best work that we could. I mean, he's really talented when it comes to 
creating a character and being able to write in the voice of that character. There were certain times when we would do a rehearsal and we would send over like these ridiculous, like bunched up notes of what we wanted the scene to be. And two days later, we would have a great scene in the voice of the character. So he brought a level of uh, ability that none of us could have uh, matched in any way. A glimpse of what it was like to work alongside Anthony, Kari, and everyone else on the set of the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Honestly, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot about. It was a balance of trying to not laugh because sometimes things would happen that would have us laughing forever, and then other times, you know, we need to get serious. And um, but it was a very collaborative experience and. At the end of the day, I think we were all happy with what we got.